I am in the middle of uh, processing processing some 18650s. These are coming out of um, scooter packs um, um, that I got from, uh, these came from Battery Clearance Warehouse. And uh, these are really good cells. These are 3200 milliamp uh, LG cells. And I'm in the middle of processing them. And I just wanna quickly do a video on the best way to bulk process and charge lots of cells at the same time. You know, I see people build what they call mega charges, where they take those TP4056 chips and they attach one chip to a single 18650 holder and that single chip, you know, charges a single 18650 and they'll put like 20 of them on a board as a way to, you know, charge um, lots of cells. To me, that, you know, that is so inefficient and I think there are way better ways to do it. Um, you know, when you are processing cells, one of the, you know, one of the slowest things is waiting for all the cells to charge up. Just, you know, you need to charge all the cells, um, regardless of whether you're going to test them or not, you need to charge all the cells because they're probably, when you're salvaging cells, they're probably pretty low voltage and they need to be brought up to 4.2 volts. Um, and if you are going to test them, it's far more efficient to charge up the cells not using your testers. Charge them up with something else, then throw them on the testers, let the tester run. Once you get the test results, pull them off the testers and put them back into a bulk charger to bring them back up to 4.2 volts. Don't let the tester do the charging because the tester is, A, it's slow, but it's, it's whole, you know, you don't have that many testers. So you want the testers just doing tests. You want other ways of bulk charging the batteries. So there's a couple ways I want to show you quickly. Uh, by the way, and again, on those TP4056, those, it, those chips cost about a dollar a chip. The holder will cost you another dollar. And then you got to put them all on a board. Each one will need a separate five volt supply. Um, it's kind of a weird way to do it. And I, I see a few people build those mega charges, but to me that, that never made any sense. So there's a couple ways to do it. Um, one way is to build something like this, and I use this a lot. It's, these are four cell holders that are wired all in parallel. And I just put in a bunch of cells in here, um, in parallel, and uh, when I when I do process batteries, I do kind of sort them into three volt batteries, two volt batteries, one volt batteries. I do kind of do a rough sort on my batteries before I begin charging, and then I'll throw in cells into something like this that have roughly the same voltage. Uh, you know, whether one is three point three and one is two point nine, that's not going to matter. These cells will very quickly self balance each other. So you throw them in parallel; they'll quickly self balance each other, and you can hook this up to an ISDT or something, and this is a little balance lead. Hook this up to one of your ISDT charges or something like that. Throw some current at this, and you can charge these up really quickly. I can throw 10 amps at this, and this will charge up in a couple of hours. And this is a great way to quickly charge a large number of cells, and they'll all be perfectly in balance and come out nicely charged. Um, um, and this is a, I, I do like this device, but there are other ways and cheaper ways of doing it. One way that I've been using lately is these. These are power banks. These cost me five dollars. And they're eight cells. And I just throw eight cells in here. It's got a USB plugged into it. And yes, it'll be slow. This will be slow because this only pulls one and a half amps. I've measured it. So eight cells will take 12 hours to charge. But at five dollars a piece, you could have literally 10 of these, you know, in a row on a, on a, you know, get a couple, you know, four, you know, four USB, get a, get a USB charger that has like four ports and plug four of these into one USB charger and have two or three USB chargers hooked up. You could literally have 10 of these and be pros and be charging 80 cells simultaneously for the cost of one tester. These things literally cost $5 shipped. And they do a great job. This one charges up to 4.19. This one charges up to 4.17. Um, and again, I set them up at night and by the morning they're all charged and done. And, and 
you know, you can bulk, you can really get through a lot of cells using just some of these, these um, USB power banks. And um, for the price, it's, it's hard to beat. You know, yes, it's not as fast as this when I hook up my SDT and throw 10 amps at this. But if I have a whole bunch of these, you know, this, this thing, you can just leave it overnight. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to flip cells. You don't have to wake up. You don't have to come into the garage every two hours and change out cells. If you just have a bunch of these USB power banks, every morning you can have 80 cells fully charged and, you know, exchange them out and put them on the testers or, or just put them in your, your, your bucket where you're going to let them sit and see if any are self-discharging. Whatever your testing method is, a bunch of these $5 power banks is an amazing way to process cells. Um, I really do like using these. Just be careful of the polarity. I, I, one of these I burned out the, I nearly burned out the spring, this one here, because I accidentally put a cell in backwards and immediately it started to burn out the spring, but I saw it instantly and was pulled it out and the spring sort of made it. So the, it does still charge. You know, just be aware of your polarity because you're putting all these cells in parallel and one backwards will you know, will start to burn out the springs. But, um, um, you know, the nice thing about these is even if you burn out one of these springs, these six slots would still work, even if I burned out these two springs. These are all in parallel, and it doesn't care how many actual batteries you put in here. Um, um, whether you put one in here or eight in here, it's just going to balance these up until they're charged. And, um, you know, anyways, don't overlook some USB power banks as a means of bulk charging a lot of cells. They're cheap, they work, and um, um, you can really move a lot of cells with a few of these power banks.